Hey there, friends. Good afternoon to you. 71 degrees, but it feels like 72. We have rain cooled air in place, so at least it is not all too bad out there. We have cloudy skies, the sun trying to peek through. But the clouds and the rain really, really taking over. You can see right now we have passing showers. Rain coverage is starting to decrease. We have some stronger storms moving into southwest Mississippi, and most of the heavy rain is starting to fade. So we'll still hold about a 50% chance for rain through this evening. Overnight, 20%. We'll start the morning off on a dry note, and rain coverage is not expected to be as widespread tomorrow. So the best chance for some numerous and widespread rain will be to our west and to our northwest and into portions of Arkansas as well. But we're not going to be totally dry, but rain coverage will be lower. So outside of thunderstorms, it's going to be mostly cloudy, some peaks of sunshine, a bit breezy as well, and warm and humid. Highs will be in the mid 80s, and our rain chance is about 40%. So about 40 to 50% on Saturday, but rain chances will be highest come Sunday, Sunday night, and possibly into our Monday. But again, rain coverage will be lower, but we won't be totally dry Friday and Saturday. So just keep that in mind when you're making any outdoor plans. Tuesday and Wednesday, rain chances come down because a cold front will bring some drier air to the area. So the second half of next week looks very, very pleasant. So if you're headed out to LSU to root on the LSU Tigers, not the other Tigers, be sure just keep that rain jacket on hand. We may be dodging a few showers or storms during tailgate time. The best chance for rain will be during the afternoon. But by kickoff, we're mostly dry, a 20% chance for rain then. So not zero, but much, much lower. And temperatures will be in the 70s. Now, if you're going down to New Orleans, storms will be possible while you're tailgating or walking. Rain chance then about 60%. But obviously, it won't matter once you're in the Superdome. Not going to really be an issue there, obviously. As we go through tomorrow morning, again, partly to mostly cloudy, we should be on the dry side. Maybe around lunchtime, a few spotty showers start to develop. Best chance tomorrow for any rain will be west of I-55. And our future track's not picking up on extensive rain coverage, because again, Rain coverage will be lower, but our future track has been struggling with rain coverage the last couple of days. So again, that's why we're still going with about a 40, maybe 50 percent. Saturday, again, a few um, meandering showers out there. Shouldn't be a washout. We'll have partly cloudy skies. And then Sunday, here you go. Rain coverage increases. It's not going to rain all day long, but rain coverage will be higher. And the good thing is, with the cold front coming next week, yeah, Yes, it's going to be humid, but then once that front passes, our humidity will start to come down. Tuesday still going to be a bit sticky, but our, uh, our dew points will start to come down by Wednesday of next week. So hang in there. We're still going to have this very warm, humid air in place. Highs in the mid-80s, lows in the upper 60s. Rain chances will stay pretty elevated. 40% Monday, and then by Tuesday, a 20% chance for rain. Check out that temperature on Wednesday and Thursday. Near 80 with mornings in the lower 60s, so doing much better by then. Now it is time for our fur cast. Check out this little cutie. This is Jacques Pierre. Very, very nice, and he's so, so cute. Thank you to Allison for sharing this photo. He's a dapper darling. If you want to see your pet on FurCast, shoot me an email, aruez at brproud.com, or you can reach out to me on social media. Tavarius, 